learn how to paint black furniture. So what I have is an old dresser, and this is a gentleman's dresser, or a gentleman's chest. It has a little box on top, and that little box was for, they used to have detachable collars and cufflinks, and that little box on top was for the detachable collars and cufflinks. And guys today like these pieces. I've sold a couple of these because they like to put their wallet, their change, and those kind of things in it because their wives fuss at them because they're on top of there. That's what one person said to me. So that way they can put them in there and they're hidden. So I, since this is kind of a masculine piece, I'm painting it black. But because I don't want to paint it just masculine, I'm going to put flowers on it too. So we're going to do a transfer too. So when you're painting black and you have an old piece like this, when I washed it, it was really dirty. So I, I did not have any salvation solution, which is our undercoat to keep from doing bleed through. So I just used shellac. So you can see it's kind of shiny. I put shellac on it. Okay, so I'm going to paint this with my favorite black. And my favorite black is Little Black Dress. The first step in painting a piece of furniture is to clean it thoroughly. I cleaned this one with awesome and then soap and water, let it dry, and then started my first coat of paint. I like to use a broad flat brush like this one to put a good coat of paint on to start with. I'm using Little Black Dress from DIY Paint. All products used in this video can be found at goodsandvintagetreasures.com. I like to paint with the grain. In long, broad strokes. Once the first coat is dry, I add my second coat. Even though you're painting black and it looks like it's covered well, two coats of paint are best. When the two coats of paint were dry, I added Big Top, a sealer, to the front of the piece because I'm going to add an IOD transfer. Big Top is a DIY paint sealer which I sell at the Picket Fence Antiques and More in Newton, North Carolina or online at goodsandvintagetreasures.com. The sealer helps the transfer to adhere to the front. Once the coat of Big Top is dry, I'll add a transfer. I chose to use Wallflower, an Iron Orchid Designs transfer. I sell these at Just Around the Corner in Lincoln, North Carolina. I sell them also at GoodsandVintageTreasures.com and, and I also sell them on Etsy at Goods and Vintage. You can see Wallflower is a beautiful design. These now come in pads also that are easier to handle. I'm going to cut the corner patterns off and put them in the corner of my dresser so you can cut them out and use them as you wish. After cutting this one out, I used paper tape to tape it to the corner. I could have removed the pulls to make it a lot easier, but I was a little lazy and they were on really tight. Once you pull the paper off, you can rub, rub, rub and transfer the piece to the dresser. It's kind of like a rub on tattoo for furniture.
Once I place the transfer on, I use a razor knife or X-Acto knife to cut between the drawers. That makes a nice, clean fit for the transfer. I then coated the transfer with one more coat of Big Top to protect it. Next, I covered the whole piece in DIY clear wax. This gives it a nice soft finish and protective coat. After the clear wax, I applied black wax. The DIY black wax is the trick to getting a smooth finish to your DIY product. However, I did not use the dark wax over the transfer. I just used clear wax over the transfer. I did not want to darken the beautiful flowers. It's best to let the wax set at least 24 hours and then buff with a soft cloth. This will give it a smooth, soft finish and the black won't be streaky. Don't forget the secret ingredient is clear wax and then dark wax. Look how beautiful the piece turned out. All the products you've seen used in this project can be purchased at goodsandvintagetreasures.com. For this project, I used DIY Little Black Dress, Big Top, Clear Wax, Dark Wax, and the IOD Wallflower Transfer. All these can be bought at goodsandvintagetreasures.com, just around the corner in Lincolnton, North Carolina, or Picket Fence Antiques and More, and you can get the transfers at it, my Etsy shop, Goods and Vintage. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that bell to get notified when a next video comes up.